let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. And please take note that if this doesn't resonate with you, please check your other Moon Rising. Okay? And hopefully this month will be in favor of you. Mm hmm Oh. Okay. Huh. Virgo, you're up for a big disappointment this month. Alright. Now please take note that this is only a general reading, okay? Okay, that actually flip. Okay, let's just put it here. It all would have flipped anyway. Then I'll be pulling out more clarification cards right after doing all the spread. Oh, work. And then for your love life, let's take a look. <laughs> some Virgos are actually, you uh, know, keeping somebody hanging. And it seems like you're not really telling the truth to this person that you're still seeing someone else as well. Or that you're already committed. Virgo, you never learn. Something have already happened to you in the past, especially last year. And hopefully you, you won't be doing the same mistake again. Okay. Let's pull out more clarifications on this. Where is this disappointment coming from? Oh, about a fire sign. Uh huh. Very well, it looks like you are hiding something from this fire sign. And unfortunately, that this fire sign will be discovering some of your secrets or some of the things that you, you know, you did not really disclose to them when you first got together. And now things are actually swirling down or swirling around. Okay. The truth will come out, and it seems like there will be a heartbreak, mm. you know, that's going to be coming. But, you know what, you feel like that for you, this person is the one that is, you know, uh, really the one for you. Or this is your real soulmate, somebody that you feel very connected, you know, the chemistry is really, um, the chemistry is really like a solid and... Um, this person just makes you feel so happy that even though just by the thought of them you smile you know even though it's um, you're smiling to yourself you know even though you're just alone and you just the thought of them makes you feel that something is glowing inside of you and you will be regretting that you should have been a little bit more honest for this person 
and that uh, you know you did not really disappoint them because you did not really expect that the things will you know will be panning out the way how it is and uh, this person will be giving you that very special feeling that you did not really felt especially if you used to be with a you know with an earth or a water sign now you will be finding the strength to clarify some things and to you know to work your you know reputation again uh, to this person because it seems like you really have a lot of heart or you really have a lot of feelings okay or care for this person now well too bad for those who's already married it seems like you have a you know a choice to make now as for your finances it seems like there is a new job offer a job opportunity or a job you know promotion that will be coming your way that even though you don't you're not yet ready for this big uh responsibility the management feels like you deserve to have this or you will be getting a new job offer okay if you're looking for one and uh you're really destined to have this and it seems like you should be a little bit more thankful because you're going to be making more extra money or there will be an increment and in extra benefits that the management will be adding up to your, you know, to your payroll. And, you, you know, you'll be very happy. Plus, you will be moving to a new team department or of office or um, cubicle, you know, could be or branch. Now, you are really going to be. <laughs> Like, you're going to try and resist the change that's been happening and going in your life. But, you know what? You ask for this. You d once dream about this. And you once wished for this. And now, it's just because that you're so afraid of being, you know, far from somebody. Or you don't want to move far from someone, you know, who's very close to your heart. You don't want the transfer. Or you don't want the, um, you know, the move or the changes that's already coming into your life. Embrace the change instead of resisting it. And y there is like a celebration or party that you will be attending right by the end of the month or like a victory party. And you are the one who's going to be on top of it. Okay, everyone will be congratulating you and everyone will be very happy for you. When it comes to your love life, family matters, marital issues, and there will be a judgment or there will be a final decision, you know, or somebody will be making a decision about you. Now, if you have been going astray or if you've been you know feeling a little bit lost discontented disconnected you know with your partner lately you've been trying to hold on to each other just because of your foundation and the years that you have been through together but you you know you feel like you did not really expected that somebody will be making you feel differently or feeling alive again you know, it's not actually make. It's not actually the other people or other person made you uh, fall in love again. It is that lost feeling and lost park and lost connection with your partner because of all the responsibilities, unspoken issues, and you know communication gaps that you failed to. Uh, resolve altogether in the past and this is the reason why you feel like you're no longer connected with your partner you're no longer on the same page you're not happy campers anymore actually it's not because you won't be staying with each other if you feel like there's no more connection so try to you know to rebuild your connections again and try to rebuild your you know your foundation again because only you have the answer only you can resolve this and um, actually they say that if you fall in love with the second person choose the second one because if you still love the first one you won't be you know having some feelings or you won't be falling for the second one but you know what at this point be practical and look deeper right inside of you if what you feel for the other person is really love or is it only lust now when it comes to your sex life the problem with the other person is that your sex life is already over and done and uh, you know you feel like dead or you feel like there's no rising tide anymore but then you know with the other person they stimulate you mentally emotionally physically you know in something like that and, uh, and sexually of course but you know that you can't really make this relationship be out in the open. 
and the other person is already asking for the legitimacy of your of your relationship they don't want to hide and you're not yet ready and that is the reason why you're going to be discovered this month okay by both parties so looks like you got yourself some you know some trouble and some choice to make uh, there's a lesson that you have to learn it seems like this had already occurred to you in the past and even though this person you know I even if you're gonna say that even if you're gonna say that this person is the one who seduced you it's actually up to you yeah, okay if you're gonna let yourself be deceived or be seduced by somebody if you're that strong enough which is no matter how many temptations comes into your life you are the one who should be able to protect your relationship and not your partner and don't make it as an excuse now the sex with the other partner or with the other person is very satisfying for you yet it's not really bound to last and it's not gonna last okay because there's no real foundation and there's no real feelings it's only lust why you're so addicted to this person and you know to that you know that to yourself now when it comes to your health okay um imbalancing it seems like you will also have some problems with the left part of your body uh either you're gonna have some cramps in the um you know right in the middle of the night or you're gonna have some problems walking concentrating or you'll feel a little bit imbalance or you're gonna feel a little bit more heavy on the left side you know something like that and then you will be very conscious about how you look on the outside so there will be some changes that you'll be making or you're going for some dermatological surgery or something like that and you will be acting like you're single again now when it comes to your life purpose strength support and family support is where you can find some you know some opportunities or job or like calling in the field of medical like um, paramedics uh, nursing medicine you know being a doctor or a nurse or something like that okay you are more inclined to the um, earth related uh, jobs or opportunities and family will be your main backbone you know and this is what actually gives you more happiness and meaning into your life so you don't really need an extra complication in your life to be happy your foundation altogether is already enough to give more life and meaning into your existence okay now let's take a look at your oracle cards and you know what try to place yourself into the situation of your partner what if you are the one who has a rival and what if the one who, who that you know that who's what if you're the one who is um being martyr or you know um waiting for your partner to come around and uh, the person that you're actually waiting is already having somebody on the side of course how does it feel it's gonna be really painful and uh you know agonizing i'm pretty sure that you don't want to go through that now you need to nurture yourself means you need to love yourself first okay understanding there are some situations issues conflicts okay um between you and your partner in your life in your life choice and in your life path that you should have more clear understanding of where it should be going where should it you know level up or where it should uh, you know pivot because right now you're looking for the right direction and you're waiting for the wind okay to show you the right way and creativity if you really want to find your life purpose or if you really want to find the answers to your to your current issues right now be a little bit more creative open up your mind and open up your heart plus you may also find an opportunity or you know some uh path or calling in the field of creativity like ads media graphics web you know or something like that or illustration animation uh, photography you know there are a lot of uh, opportunities in the field of creativity you just need to follow whatever that's inside your heart all right so anyway that's it for you for this month virgo and if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls just go and vi visit my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you